Hello and welcome to Gaya Bonsai in South West Cornwall. Today's the Monday the 12th of June and today I'm going to have a look at um, my mountain ashes and uh, pot them into larger pots as they're growing quite rapidly now. So these are Sorbus acuparia, that's a mountain ash tree or a rowan tree. Um, I grew these from seed which I collected in October from the little um, orange berries. I crushed the berries and extracted the seeds, um, cleaned as much off the berries as I could. Uh, I then soaked the seeds for 24 hours in some warm water. I gave the um, seed to final clean and then I placed them into cold stratification. So basically all that means is it's called a uh, moist chilling. So I mix the um, seeds with some moist compost and put them in the refrigerator. After about six to eight weeks, some of them began to germinate. So I potted those up into the uh, small little three centimeter pots that I usually use. And when they'd filled the um, pots with roots and I potted them up into these seven, seven centimeter pots, and hopefully, as you can see, they've quite filled the pots with roots now. So what I'm going to do, there we are, if you can see that one, it's quite a nice mass of roots in there. So I'm going to pot them up into uh, one metre pots and grow them on for the rest of the season. So I've got quite a few here of various kind of trunk shapes. That's got a nice curve in it. Um, they're quite woody at the base but the tops are still quite flexible so I won't do any wiring but I'll leave them all with the um, curved shapes and hopefully they'll make some nice uh, kind of trees for future potential bonsai or quite nice garden trees so these have nice white flowers on and then they have the orange or red berries uh, later in the year so it's sort of all round interest and the foliage usually turns a nice shade of orange or red in the autumn but uh, they're certainly well worth uh, collecting some seeds very easy to grow and they make quite rapid growth they've got nice compound leaves which you might be able to reduce down a little bit in size but obviously these will have to be sort of mid, mid to large range size bonsai to uh, keep everything in proportion right well that's had a quick look at the trees now we're going to pot some up Right, so I've got my basic uh, compost mix here. I've also got some um, Grow More fertilizer and some one liter pots. So, put some in the pot, grab a tree, squeeze it out, pop it in the center, and then we'll just backfill. So, this is just called a potting on or slip potting where they're not disturbing the roots at all. Turn the compost down, there we are. And what I'll do with these is just a little bit of grow more and just sprinkle around the base of the tree as they've got quite a few more months growing. This will give it like a nice background feed. So that's the fertiliser applied. And then here we've got some composted bark. It's meant to be small, but it's uh, actually quite large. But what I'll do is I'll pop that on the top of the pot like so. And that will help keep the weeds down, keep the moisture in a little bit and stop any uh, birds eating the uh, grey moor fertiliser. So that's one mountain ash potted up into a one litre pot do another one as you can see they're well rooted it's got a nice little curve on the trunk the base is going woody it's starting to make some little side shoots and branches but the branches basically will come from the nodes of the leaves here so I've got some of the compost mix in. 
pop the tree in centrally just backfill it just firm it around the edges get the tree a push down make sure it's tough and firm in there tap him off some grow more around the pot and then some uh, bark to finish it off so here's some composted bark to go over the top and then I'll give these a good water in and they can go straight back out in the garden so that's me potting up my sorbus uh, grown from seed this year and I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I'll make another one to show you the progress um, later in the season so as always thank you very much for watching i look forward to making some more videos for you very shortly take care bye bye for now